Hello lovely blood suckers, and I do gotta say, this suit makes me feel sexy. <laughs> but anyways, to start off, uh, what did you want with my model? To start off why did you want why? Our kitty mon is in the bathtub bathing them with her clothes on. Now, the reason why this is why in, in this video is because wouldn't it be better for her to bathe naked? Technically, I know she's naked when she's in her actual form, but still. And before someone says, oh, this is a kitchen, uh, <laughs> let me remind you, season one did it with pedophilia style by always showing the girls naked when they bathe. So, shut the fuck up. Now, what is going on with my model? Anyways, now moving on from that. Uh, well, before we move on, actually, the reason why she's in the bathtub is because she was sulking about always losing to the kids. Now we can move on. Uh, so, Yoli, uh, grabbed the help of Davis and Vimon because she noticed after they took a break from destroying Dark Spires, she noticed that Cody and Ken were still not talking to each other, which in all honesty is the most stupidest fucking thing because they literally saved each other's lives multiple times. Like, what the fuck, you two? And so they tricked them into working together to destroy a dark spire, saying that Flame Drummon couldn't destroy it. And but they are since they're both geniuses, they both already figured that out that they were lying. And they kinda got on to Davis for lying to them, and even though it was Jolie's idea. And Cody says, don't waste our energy like that. And Yoli got mad. She said, shut. She said, stop it, both of you. Grow up and talk. Which she has a fucking right to say that because Cody is the whole fucking issue right now. And I'm trying to be understandable to him because he's the youngest. But this is at this point bullshit and frustrating. So Ken says, oh, looks like everyone in the team isn't ready to accept this. So he goes off on his own. Now, after that, Arthur Kinemon comes to the kids while Ken is still. And because she had already set up for them to turn 100 Dark Spires into da -da -da -da, Black War Greymon. Now, I love that Black Lord Greymon makes an anime appearance in this, but at the same time, I feel disappointed that this was the way he made his appearance. Though, I'll get to that in a minute. So, Black Lord Greymon starts whipping everyone's fucking ass, basically. And... Davis, Cody, and Yoli are trying to figure out because TK and Car are basically down right now because they got went out first, got taken out first. So they're trying to figure out how to beat him, and that's when Yoli says, "That's it, Ken. Pile Jamon's the only way to defeat Black War. Is the only one strong enough to beat Black War Grandma. Technically, he is the strongest." as a fusion because for the Digimon for the games Digimon because he's a fusion ultimate but Black War Greymon Pegasus just said this too is a mega and basically Black War Greymon beats the shit out of Pyodramon when he does when Ken does come but Cody says, we don't need him, we never need him. Cody, shut the fuck up. At this point, 
He has saved your life so many fucking times, and you're still being a stupid little brat. Now, again, it was frustrating. That's what I said by the Zero Two kids didn't really have a growing arc. Some did, which is Davis, Yoli, Ken. But Cody definitely didn't have one. It took Cody forever to fucking accept Ken, which was fucking stupid when he proved himself a billion fucking times that he had changed. But Cody, no! Cody wants to still be a stupid little fucking brat. Now, before anyone comes and attacks me, oh, he's young. Yes, he's young. I get that. He's the youngest of the group. Yes. But he is also one of the smartest, along with Ken. He knows what he's fucking saying. He knows what he's fucking doing. His grandpa even told him it's okay to forgive. And yet, he's still being a fucking stupid little bitch about it. Like, Ken has proved himself. Ken has saved him more times than he has saved Ken. He needs to let it fucking go. So, and Yoli gets mad about it too. So don't even come at me for it. And this is why Yoli is one of my favorite, is my favorite character for Zero Two. Because she goes to get Ken, Ken does not, uh, refuse, still refuses to come. So she slaps the shit out of him. And on the way back, she, apo- well, technically they already came back, but she apologizes to him and he pouts. Now th- this is why Yoli and Ken are the best ki- human couple for Zero Two, while or Kunimon and Mamiwan, even though they were technically never a couple, but they kind of acted like a couple with or Kunimon being the Dami Mami. Other two are the best Digimon couple. Now, After that, they become Pyaljamon, as I said a little bit ago, Black Warman beats Pyaljamon's ass. Because Pyaljamon's only an ultimate, not a mega. And, but, after he does, everyone's in the rookie, champion, and, uh, baby. And... Our Kenny Mon and Mon are tr- still trying to give orders to Black War Greymon. Black War Greymon's consciousness actually becomes an actual Digimon. Basically, when he refuses and says that they're not worthy to command him, which, in a way, as much as I love Our Kenny Mon and Mommy Mon, he wasn't wrong. But, anyways, I hope you all have a wonderful day or night, depending on when you're watching this. I love you all. Mwah.